Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Week three in Chenggu in Bali. So this week we've got some really exciting things to do. Today we're just going for breakfast and then I'm gonna edit my vlog, which finished yesterday. Today we are going to Ubud for the night, which is really expensive. Uh, expensive? No, it wasn't expensive, which is really exciting. I don't know why I just said expensive. My skin is like really testing my patience. It was like almost fine before we came. I did order some acne medication to the chemist right before I left and we went to pick up and they were closed. So that was brilliant. So now I'm here with no medication and my skin is just getting really, really bad so i'm gonna have to try and figure out a way to get my medication to grace so she can bring it over for me so i think the plan for today is probably just walk in around the center like exploring ubud and then tomorrow we're gonna go on like this this famous walk like the highest point or something i don't know um and then we're gonna go to cyan point for lunch before coming home we're not gonna go to like any waterfalls or temples or anything while we're there only because we're gonna do that when grace is down and we want to save the good stuff for her when she comes Place is amazing it was about an hour's drive away but oh my god it's just so gorgeous and they've just given us a little welcome drink which is so cute i don't want to say how you because i might hear me it's like melon water and i hate melon and i feel so bad oh, have you tried it yeah, it's literally just pure melon it's it? just pure melon do you like it no because it's like got no sweetness to it at all oh, so. i feel so bad well, the thought was there anyway, so the thought that counts. It was so sweet of them to bring it up. We've got kimonos as well, which I think is so cute. So we found a Starbucks, of course I had to give it a try. I've got a vanilla cream frappuccino with a shot of coffee. Oh, that's so good. So you're just having, oh my god, this is the biggest fly I've ever seen. You just landed on my hand. So we're just having like a nice little walk, like down by the market. And there's like all these cool like names and dates and stuff engraved into the floor with like little pictures. There was one little picture of a swastika and we were like, surely that's not a swastika, like, surely not. And then we carry on walking up and some man on the market goes, oh, do you want some necklaces, rings? And we're like, oh no, thank you. He goes, I have, he goes like this and he goes, I have swastika. I was like, no. And he was like, yeah, I have swastika. I was like, no, thank you. What the hell? I thought. I don't know what I thought, but like, what? Okay, so I'm editing the video back now and I actually did a little bit of research and basically the swastika is actually one of the oldest religious symbols. Um, so although it's like really closely linked to Nazis, of course, it is one of the Balinese religious symbols as well. It represents like good fortune. Um, it's like a good luck charm, basically. So panic over they were not nazis <laughs> i feel so ignorant saying that now but like i literally had no idea <laughs>
Spotify, but it nearly is. <laughs> it's raining quite a lot. We're gonna be drenched, it's a half an hour walk. Alright, it's Kai just jumping into the vlog. <laughs> um, I'm sure no one cares, but I thought I'd show you some of the stuff that I picked up in Bali today. Yeah, obviously I resell clothes, so yeah, DM, DM Kelly if you want any of this. Yeah, so I bought these like Patagonia, like walking, like swim short type things. Uh, this vintage Tweety Looney Tunes t shirt. Nice Carhartt pocket t shirt. Uh, this 1998 uh, like, denim shirt. And this nice vintage Ralph rugby. Yeah, I'll pass you back over to Kellyanne and Duke. So we've woke up this morning and we've been brought breakfast up to our room, which is amazing. It was actually included in the price as well. And I think the price for this room was, it was just under 18 pound, wasn't it, for one night? Yeah. That includes breakfast. Um, so we're having breakfast up on the balcony now. Classic Indonesian, is it nasi goreng or something? I'm not sure. I think it is, noodles with egg and then so some sort of juice. Warm. It's gonna be warm air, I think. I think it is gonna be so warm air. quite rough. On the balcony. I've just been given some fruit. I don't think I like any of those fruits. I yeah. feel awful. But yeah, how cute is that? So a few more bits today. It's Kai again. Uh, and Kayla's already, I think, maybe bags it. The car heart cargoes. Go on, give us a little spin. Get the little logo in. Three. <laughs> yeah. No, they look really good. I really like them. Hey guys, so we're all ready to go now. It's about 12 o'clock. We are just about to set off on the walk. We're doing this thing called. I can't think what it's called now. Camp, Camp Ridge Walk. Camp Ridge Walk or something like that. So we're going to do that. That should take us a few hours, I think. And then we're going to go to this place afterwards called Cyan Point, which I think is maybe like a restaurant or something at the high point, I think. Yeah. Oh, this is not like the biggest bag ever. And I'm going to take it on this trek with me. Like, this is not going to be fun. Oh my god so we finished the walk it was so nice and we stopped up at like this place and we were sat it was like in the middle of a pond and we were just sat in like these like little treehouse things it was so cool even though the walk it was probably like a 25 minute walk i think um but most of it was like it was either it really uphill or really downhill so it was like really tiring and now we're walking to the place where we're gonna go for lunch i think it's like the highest point in ubud or something like that but i swear i am because we just had to walk all the way up the stairs. It was an hour walk from where we were having a drink, but it's like all either uphill or really, really downhill. So it's like exhausted. This is the sweatiest I've ever been, I think. I feel disgusted. <laughs> guys this sunset from up here but like it kind of just went behind the clouds so it was we didn't really get to see a sunset tonight unfortunately um but it was still definitely worth the journey and i would definitely come back hi guys so i've just dropped kai off at um, like a market thing for like vintage clothing secondhand clothing things like that so um i did go for like 
half an hour and I was just so tired and bored. I bought, if we had both had phones, I wouldn't have come. I literally only came because it wasn't really safe for him to go on his own with only one of us having a phone. And it's quite far away. It was like a good hour drive away. So I literally only came just because it wasn't safe for him to go on his own. So I'll just come with him. I've come to like a little cafe. It's so cute. I think I'm gonna be in here a while. And then when he comes back, we're gonna have food, but I'm so hungry. Hi guys, little update. Um, now on my second tea, I've gone for orange and passion fruit. Kai is now back. Hello. Um, and he went with the guy that he bought stock from the other day in Ubered. Um, they actually met her and they went together and I was just chilling in this little cafe with his girlfriend. She was lovely. And he managed to get some more stock, which is all good. She was telling me about life in Bali. Yeah, she was. All right, it's me again. Um, I'm sure you don't subscribe to Kelly for this shit, but yeah, I'm gonna try and sell you some stuff again. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm just gonna, I like showing you. Oh yeah, by the way, shout out to, I think his name is Manj. Uh, he owns like a like a second-hand clothing store in Bali. And he he's the one that messaged me yesterday saying if I wanted to go to like the 50 market with him. Uh, so yeah, thanks for showing me the ropes, Manj. And these are the bits that I picked up. So just a nice pair of Dickies cargo shorts. Uh, 90s Tommy cord shirt. Uh, 90s Nike like, roll neck jumper. And then just this Ralph like rugby short sleeve top. Bye. So today we are going to the Sunday market at La Brissa, which is like a beach club and they do like a market on a Sunday. So we're just gonna take a walk down the beach to get to the beach club. We have to have a really early night tonight because we actually have to be up at 2 a.m. because we're climbing an active volcano tomorrow to go and watch the sunrise. I'm not gonna lie, I am crapping myself. I know that there's like systems in place. They know when a, like an eruption is coming but I still can't help picturing getting to the top and then an eruption happening and me like having to roll down the volcano or something. Yeah, Kai's not been very well. He's been fine, but like he's had a bit of a bad belly. He's had barley belly. One of us, one of us is bound to get it. And unfortunately Kai was the one that had to suffer with it. Oh my God, hello. Sorry? Oh, we're okay, thank you. Through, but I also wanted to touch it. They're really nice looking horses, actually. Oh, horses? Oh, why is it a cow? It's a cow. They're weird. They're not, they're not like English cows. No, that's such a nice cow. Oh my god. <laughs> Little baby. alcohol it's like an infused rum but he gave us as you saw he gave us loads of tasters and oh my god they were so good so we picked up two bottles and i think both bottles came to like just over 15 pounds which is really good considering oh my god is that a bee <gasps> is that a hornet yeah, the alcohol in the shops for a bottle of smirnoff it's nearly 20 quid isn't it yeah it's all up because of the taxes because the import tax and stuff it, it was a bottle of Smirnoff was the cheapest one, it was like 20 quid. I think I managed to pick up some stock to sell um, on his Depop again. That it seems to be the theme in this week, actually. He's managed to pick up loads of stuff. Good morning, guys. Or should I say, happy middle of the night. Just waiting for the taxi driver 
to come and take us to the volcano. It takes about two hours to get there um, and then about two hours to walk it. So we should be getting up there just in time for sunrise. And then we've got to climb all the way back down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> two hours to get up it was an hour and a half drive here then they gave us like breakfast it took us like an hour and a half to get up with a few breaks i genuinely thought i was gonna have to stop halfway through wow. and i just sit there and wait for them all to come back down because work. that was the most difficult thing i've probably ever done it was like so steep really really rocky and then when you get to the top and there's no rocks it's like slippery but it was so worth it the package that we got actually included breakfast i think we're having like egg and bread or something egg, egg sandwich maybe it's always egg sandwich egg and something we're having egg and bread i think and then we're gonna head back down i have a feeling on the way down it might be a little bit tougher oh my god little baby <gasps> what the hell oh. she came up the coyote it's got a mohawk they've got mohawks oh my god they've got mohawks <laughs> no way ba baby monkeys and mohawks i love nirvana <sighs> Oh. 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 Oh, hot steam. Steam from. I thought she was just having a bag. It's dead warm, isn't it? No! You blow. Blow there. Blow there. Blow there. Blow So it's now the next day. Yesterday we went to Mount Batua or however you say it. It was amazing. It was very exhausting though. Like we literally got home, slept. Yeah, I was going very slow. There was this woman there and on the way up, I think she was trying to help me because she wanted me to buy something off her at the top. But then we got to the top and I was like, no, thank you, I'm okay. And then she helped me the whole way back down, which was so nice of her because it was like really slippery on the way down. So to make sure I didn't fall, she literally held my hand the whole way, which was so nice of her. And so I did give her a tip for that. Literally on the way up, I thought I was gonna have to stop. How many times did I say like, I'm not gonna be able to do this? I think it was like every five minutes. I was like, right, I'm gonna have to stop in a sec. Like I can't do anymore. Yeah, I feel like this is a good place to end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this week's installment of our life out here. I will see you soon with another video.